Christian Bible, page 26, Semitic nomad with water bottle on his soldier, Beni Hassan, Egypt, early 19th century DC. I want, to, I want you to turn that for the camera so they can see what Israelites look like on the walls of ancient Egypt. They didn't, they wasn't wearing black suits and top hats. They had afros and beards. That's what the Israelites looked like on the walls of ancient Egypt. Though, that is the Semitic people on the walls of ancient Egypt. You understand? And listen, this is not information that we, we made up. This is in their own books. This is in their own history. In their own history, by their own account, they created Hollywood by their own account. Listen, they converted to follow the religion of the Israelites. By their own account, they are showing you what the real Israelites look like on the walls of ancient Egypt. If you could, brother, give me Jeremiah 16 and 19. You understand? Give me Jeremiah 16 and 19. Blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians, it's like, it's almost impossible for you to be a Jew. It's impossible for you to be God's chosen people. That's how much they hate you. They say, this nigga ain't no Jew. How could you be God's chosen people? You a thug. Y'all gangbanging. Y'all killing each other in Chirac, right? That's, what the, that's how everybody feels about you. But guess what? The Lord loves you. The Lord loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And the Lord sent us out, black and Hispanic men, to proclaim that to the world. To proclaim it to the world that we are God's chosen people. Right. Listen, we, we've been doing this since 1969. We don't need any celebrity. We don't need anybody to say that we're God's chosen people. The Lord has preserved a remnant of righteous men to remember who they are. And you're seeing them here today. You understand? Go ahead, give me that. Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. Now the Bible is saying the Gentiles are going to come to the Most High from the ends of the earth. Go ahead, read. Oh God. And shall say, surely. Our fathers have inherited lives. They're going to say, surely our fathers have inherited lives. So this is what's going to happen. Everybody that thinks they're high and mighty and they're above God's chosen people. Every uh, nationality that thinks they're above blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they're going to realize one day who they really are. Go ahead. Burning and things were in, there is no profit. They're going to realize that, listen, we have inherited lives. I thought that we were the greatest people on earth. I thought we were the Romans and the Greeks. I thought they were, we were the real Jews. And the day that the black man named Jesus Christ returns, they're gonna realize that they inherited lies. They're gonna realize that everything in the history book was a lie. And that's the problem with the people today, the people in Israel, Israel today. They don't realize that they have inherited lies. Why? Because nobody even gives it down to open a book and read a book. You know what they say in the black community, if you want to keep something from a nigga, put it in a book. Right. That's not just true for black people, that's true for everyone. Right. No one opens the books in research and do real scholarship to understand the origins of people. Now the so-called Jewish man who runs Hollywood, he says he is Jew and he's been here, been around for 4,000 years. Well, I guess that everybody else that's in the Bible should still be here too. Right, right. right. Everybody else in the Bible should still be here living. And that's the thing you don't get. You see, because the Israelites, the Lord turned his back on us. Give us Jer Jeremiah, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. You ask why black people, if they are the Jews, why they don't say they're the Jews? Why they don't know that, why we don't know that we are the real Jews? Why black people don't know that we are God's chosen people? Why Hispanic people don't understand this point? Why have you never heard a Hispanic person walk up to you and say, yeah, we're, I'm a real Jew. I am the biblical ethnic Jew of the Bible. Why we don't know? Why is it that we don't know?